You know, humans have a way of doing amazing things. Uh, something that we might seem as impossible to us all, we have ways of figuring it out and getting it done. You know, everyone thought it was impossible for a man to walk on the moon, but JFK said we're going to do it, and they got it done. And I guess that depends on whether you're a conspiracy theorist or not, on whether it happened or not, but I'm going to say it happened. You know, they said you couldn't run a four-minute mile because the human heart couldn't stand to run that fast for that long. But you know what? Roger Bannister got it done. Yeah. There's, it and just, now there's sense. Right, and it just seems like we have ways of overcoming. But you know, Paul tells us something in our scripture today that no one can do, and that's keep the law of God. That's right. Um, hi, I'm Shauna, and this is Pete, and we are Golly Hugh Family Discipleship, and we're ordained ministers with the Church of God. Every day we take to social media and say, hey, come study the Bible with us. Uh, this is how we disciple our family, and uh, hopefully this will encourage you <coughs> to disciple yours. Uh, I'm going to actually read scriptures today. It's several scriptures, so bear with us. But it is Romans chapter 3, uh, verses 9 through 18. Hopefully you've already read these because we are studying Romans chapter 3 this week. Uh, but there's references back to uh, scriptures from the book of Psalms and Isaiah. So just listen in. It says, What shall we conclude then? Do we have any advantage? Not at all. For we have already made the charge that Jews and Gentiles alike are under the power of sin. As it is written, there is no one righteous, not even one. There is no one who understands. There is no one who seeks God. All that turned, all have turned away. They have together become worthless. There is no one who does good, not even one. Their throats are open graves. Their tongues practice deceit. The poison of vipers is on their lips. Their mouths are full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Ruin and misery mark their ways. And the way of peace they do not know. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Basically, Paul lays out right here the condition of every human heart. We're evil. Yep. We're separated from God. Uh, we do not want anything to do with God. Uh, we are not uh, seeking after Him. We're seeking after our own desires, our own fleshly desires. And basically, we do sinful things uh, because we're born into sin and we live in sin and we like sin. Yeah. We, we successfully pursue unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. uh, we're actually good at uh, separating ourselves from God and, and uh, not appearing or looking like him at all so truly um, the scripture is pointing out that apart from God um, apart from Jesus Christ it is impossible for us to be righteous right no one can stand guiltless before God's law so that goes for that goes for Pete that goes for Shauna that yeah. goes for anyone who watches this video you're guilty yeah. uh, absolutely positively you are guilty you have broken his commandments and you are guilty of that and the thing that we have to realize is that once we accept our guilt, that there's no hope for us to make it right. The only way it can be made right is through Jesus Christ. He paid the price, right? He, he made a way. He uh, did what we could not do. He lived a perfect life. He became the sacrifice for our sins. The Bible, and that scripture actually goes on to say that every mouth is silenced before God. Right? We have nothing to say. No defense. We can't do it on our own. That's right. You know, we want you. We talked in the opening about things that humans have a way of overcoming the impossible. This is something we can't overcome. We can't overcome on our own our sin, our debt that sin has caused. You know, this week we've talked about the law, and if you go, if you break the law, and you go before a judge, and uh, that judge says to you, "Did you steal that loaf of bread? Whatever, you know, did?" And yeah, but I was hungry. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. You broke the law. You know, uh, as a parent, we find that um, uh, our kids will often fight over a toy. You know, what he hit one me has, first. yeah, yeah. He <laughs> so hit I'm me first. To so I, I, he took my toy. Yeah. You know, so so it's like okay. You know, but did you hit your brother? Uh, yeah, I hit him, but he took my toy. Or uh, he hit me first. And, and you made know, me mad. Yeah. And, 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 he was looking at me. That's right. <laughs> you know, human nature is we always want yeah. to blame someone else. The evil for, looking at someone else. Yeah, yeah. It gets yeah. you every time. Yeah. So we, but we are truly going to be held accountable for everything that we do. Um, 
We're going to be rewarded for the good that we do in Christ, but we are going to uh, have to answer for the things that we've done that uh, do not line up with God's desire and God's law for our lives. Right. And Paul doesn't uh, do, tell you this to be a downer or to hurt your feelings or to make you feel bad. He does this to reveal the true condition of your heart. He wants you to know that you are fallen. He wants you to know that you're separated from God. And he does a good job here in quoting some scripture, like Shauna said, from Psalms and Isaiah, mm -hmm. in letting us know that none are good, no, not one, none are righteous, none seek after the Lord. Listen to those words as we went through that. Read it again. That's the condition of our heart. None of us are seeking after him. Mm -hmm. And we need a Savior. We need help. We need the Holy Spirit to come in and guide and direct us to point us in a path of righteousness. Right. You know, we did children's ministry, and one of the very first things that we always did for every uh, time we gathered together, every before any sermon, any prayer, anything, was we always laid out the rules for the kids. We always wanted to make sure that they knew what they were responsible for keeping. Mm -hmm. uh, because if we never told them the rules, but then they broke a rule that we had you know, made up, how were they to know that they had done something wrong or against what was required of them? So the law definitely shows us what we need to be doing and uh, how we are going to be held accountable. Uh, so we need to be a people that uh, uh, desires to know what God requires of us so that we can be in right standing with him. And we'll talk more about that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But going forward, uh, let's remember, read the scripture every day. Definitely read these verses again. Let it, it opens your eyes to the true condition of every human's heart, not just those that are that are, or you would consider would evil or unrighteous or like Hitler or someone might. It's everybody's hearts that way. Mm -hmm. uh, going forward, every day we want to encourage you to do four things that we believe a disciple of Jesus Christ will do every day. Uh, we want you to encounter God, make time for Him, exalt God, you know, lift His name up and glorify Him. Uh, edify yourself by reading the Bible, read the Word of God, and engage the world for Jesus Christ. Uh, share the truth of mm -hmm. God's Word and His love. So until next time, God, God bless. bless.